And you can see he's no longer trying to clinch because he knows that straight lead uppercut. Oh, he, our jab hook is going to get him. And now we're in a fight. In this scenario, we're going to go for that arm. I'm going to try to take his arm. Yo, what's poppin' my people? It's your big homie, Crooks Your Great, aka CTG, and I'm back at you guys with another banger of a UFC 5 video. And we're back again, smashing a clinch spammer, but this time he's gonna be using Alex Pijeta, and I'm gonna be using Nick Diaz. So, you guys see here, of course, it's an SSR guy. <laughs> and this, this is why these guys have so much of a bad reputation, is because of guys like Sinaloa just literally fighting like this like you guys are about to see right now so right here with nick we see he's gonna be looking to clinch we know that alex is op'd um we gotta we gotta be careful of the lead hook obviously but also flying knees and stuff like that because alex's flying knee is absolutely ridiculous but you see right here i'm pumping out a lot of straight strikes because the straight strikes stop the clinch attempts like right there that nice straight lead uppercut. We're gonna be adopting the model of if you reach, I teach. So right there, taught him again. Nice straight lead uppercut. I told you guys in plenty of my videos, that is the perfect combination to, to use against clinch spammers, is that straight lead uppercut. But unfortunately with Nick, he has low punching power, so it's not gonna do as much damage as it would with other fighters. It's going to take a little bit more than that to hurt Alex. Okay, we're doing a good job. Starting to implement those knees now. Made him pay right there with a crispy, clean two-punch combination. Have to start and stop and taunt him right there. Let him know. This, this play style is really atrocious in this game. It's probably the play style that I hate the most. People who just try to glitch you right there. So we're making him pay for it. Hit him with a nice, clean straight, even though we did eat the body damage. Now the one thing that's that's going to prob be a problem to us too with these body strikes if we don't start blocking them is we're in a five round fight which you would think would favor somebody like Nick but if we're not careful and we keep letting them hit our body like that we're going to be drained by the time we get into the fourth and fifth rounds. We got to try to get this done within three rounds. Talk the kick, nice flying knee right there on the retreat. Now, when we have him up against the cage, that's when we want to let go with the combinations. But there's that flying knee that I was telling you guys about. There you go. See the clinch again. Now, we've been having a pretty solid round up until we got rocked right there, right? So, we don't want to let it discourage us. We get clinched up right there. Look at him trying to slip clinch me. But he's slip clinching the air. It's crazy. And I'm really hoping in the next patch, they either increase the vulnerability on the slit or on the clinch itself, or you know they make um, they make clinching a little bit more easily avoidable as the first round ends right there. Because fighters like this, you see them a lot in the game. People that just try to clinch you, try to slip clinch you, and they're literally trying to do this all fight long. And they're getting blasted with combination after combination and still being able to survive. So hopefully in the next patch, uh, you the EA devs actually make vulnerability on the clinch a little bit more. Uh, so that way strikes, even when they when landed from somebody like Nick Diaz, they're gonna do a lot more damage to make people rethink actually trying to just spam clinches. But we're hoping we might not ever get it, but it is what it is. Man can hope. Here in the second round, we're gonna try to build off what we had in the first round. Right there, he throws another knee. We timed out a beautiful straight lead uppercut. <clears throat> but in this round, we wanna do a little bit more body work. Because if he's gonna be hitting knees to our body, we have to start to, to chop at his body health as well. So when we get him up against the cage, or we feel like he's planting, and we have a, stat, or we have a frame advantage, we're gonna to rip to that body. Here you see the pressure. Nice jab uppercut. Closing the distance a little bit, trying to keep him on that back foot. We're also trying to be aware of that flying knee. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. In this fight, <laughs> it was so weird. You're not you. I'm not used to seeing people back up from me with Nick Diaz. I'm used to seeing, especially Alex players, just pressuring me. This guy is just—he's on another one. There. Oh, we're breaking down that block. Gotta watch out for that flying knee, that clinch, that jab off. Nice two piece right there. That's probably be the only decent thing this dude has thrown all fight long. Was that two piece? And here you see the patience that I'm, I'm exuding right there. Catching with another two piece combination. Another body kick, another two piece from him. So now look, he's trying to adapt the combination that I'm throwing against him. Oh, caught him right there with a crispy, clean three piece combination. Heard him, breaking down the block. He clinches us up. We're able to back up and block, avoid the flying knee. Overall, a pretty good sequence right there. We rocked him, we stunned him, we're winning, we're winning the round. And now we're starting to get the damage that we're looking for. Body hook by us. Trying to major lunge off. Hitting them with some pretty good shots right here into the double body hooks. The straight lead up into double body hook combination is real nasty against clinch spammers. Just an FYI for all you guys that are looking for punishing combinations off of that. There's a clinch, we reverse it. Get him back to the cage. Switch back into Southpaw. Nice uppercut right there as we were trying to go down to the body. Uh, let's me know. He is trying, he is starting to read it out. He sees that whenever we get him up against the cage, we're gonna be going down for that body shot. So gotta be careful. Closing the distance. He slips for no reason, ripping that body right there with Nick. He goes with the knee. Right there with a clean combination. Ooh, and he kicks me after the bell. Herb, come on, Herb. Can't be letting people just hit people after the bell. Hit me with a solid, clean front kick to the face. That could have stunned me, bro. What's going on? That was a clean second round from us there, though. Not gonna lie. We did get rocked when we were trying to go down to the body. But overall, I mean, it's about as solid of a, of a second round as you're gonna have against guys like this. Got to take wins where you can get them. But well, here in this third round, I'm gonna try to do the same thing we did in the second round. Stamina is looking decent enough. We don't really want to be eating too many body kicks like that right there because we are in the switch stance. But our head health is a little bit higher than Alex's, so there's opportunities like that front kick right there. We heard him. He's able to stretch his arm out. He tries to go with the flying knee. Now we're on that pressure. Uh, hit him with a clean lead hook. Hit him with a nice hook right there. There's a knee. Body hook in the lead hook. And then I knew he was gonna go to the body, but I wasn't able to block it quick enough. Just taking our time to the straight right there. Rips through the guard. We're hurting him. Catch him with a head kick, drop him right there. Now, unfortunately, we didn't have enough stamina, long-term stamina, to go for the finish right there. So I didn't even waste my time trying to go for it. We're gonna go with a nice judo throw, the hip toss in the side saddle. And now this is where you would think Nick Diaz is gonna have a really big advantage, is in the jujitsu game, but Nick Diaz, for, for multiple games, has had a horrible top control. Horrible, he has good submissions, a good submission offense and defense, but horrible top control. Right there, we ripped him to the body, then back up to the head. Knocked him down right there, and now we're in a ground and pound scenario, which is exactly where we want to be at. Raining down some ground and pound shots into that block. But it's Alex Pieta. He's going to survive it. Right there, he's able to regain his half guard. Just staying patient. Because our stamina is starting to become a little bit of an issue. We're going to get up because we don't want to get pressed up in the sprawl and let him get us up against the cage and throw some free knees. But right there, nice. Nice job by us right there. Minor stepping. And we made him, we punished him with a nice straight. Now look at that head health. Just blinking. 
anything we land on it, high chance we're gonna get a rock. Here we're just walking him down a little bit. You can see he's no longer trying to clinch because he knows that straight lead uppercut. Oh, he, our jab hook is gonna get him. And now we're in a fight in this scenario. We're gonna go for that arm. I'm gonna try to take his arm with the arm bar. We're draining the stamina down. He tries to go for the transition. We, we block it and we are gonna just get that arm fully extended out and drain that stamina bar down right there. Just trying to teach him a lesson. That's all we were trying to do right there with that. We could have gotten the finish with Neon Belly. We were just trying to torture him a little bit. Trying to let him know, you know what, brother? This is probably not a smart idea that you continuously try to do this in fights. Here we got five seconds. We're punching that body, draining that cardio down. That's the end of the third round. I mean, what more can I say? Our cardi, our long-term stamina is not looking good, but we've traded stamina for head health. Any strike we land now, even if it's that straight lead uppercut that I told you isn't super damaging from Nick, it's gonna knock down. It's gonna get a knockdown, or it might even get us a flash KO. As well as, we obviously got the uh, the sub bar down to about 50%. So all it's gonna take is another submission going to be able to get the victory as well so we have now set ourselves up in a beautiful position to get a finish in this fight against this spammy alex there you see him looking for the body kick Just press him forward flying knee but we have the head health to recover really really fast nick does have good recovery in real life as well so we're not really too worried about it we can't get caught with the, one of those while we're in a uh, vulnerability, like in the middle of one of our combinations. Right there, nice, nice minor step straight right there by us. Just walking them down, breaking down the block. And now look at them up against the cage. And that might be it, ladies and gentlemen. Not yet, come on, bro. So we throw him back down, but he did a late denial. Nice, he don't want to be on the ground because he knows. I'm, I'm looking to I'm looking to snap either his arm or I'm trying to just choke him unconscious. Right here, he's just utilizing that block, but it's lowered now because we got the arm bar in the last round. Just walking him down. He's trying to throw them knees, acting like that's gonna make a big difference. This is the best feeling you can have against guys like this, man. It's just watching them squirrel and knowing they feel uncomfortable as hell. Later on in the round, after you've done your work. Minor step into a straight. Popping that jab off. Breaking down the block. And then the overhand just puts him to sleep. Right. We set that up beautifully. I hadn't thrown an overhand all fight long until that point right there. And then we were able to get the job done there with Nick Diaz. And get another spammer up out of there, man. But that's it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. It'd be much appreciated. Uh, <clears throat> so that way this video does get tossed into the YouTube algorithm and it helps people that struggle against guys like this and it gives them a game plan to try to work in when they're fighting guys like this. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to slap that like button as well as if you're new, slap that subscribe button. But until next time, my people, take it easy, be safe, enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from, and I will see you guys in the next video.